welcome to my zone online school my name is mr masia let us also say hello to my friend today's grade six lesson is on natural science but before we can begin please let us remember to wear our facial mask and also let us use our sanitizer so let us take a few squints in our hands and quickly rub our hands around and in there get around your fingers as well and another important thing to remember is to keep the distance so let us just stretch our arms on the sides as well as in front to ensure we are not touching each other today's lesson is puberty and sexual development <music> Let us now turn to page 17, where we will look at puberty and sexual development. What are the basic competencies we will encounter during this lesson? We should be able to describe the differences between the reproductive organs of a male and female from given diagrams. We should also be able to explain the role of the basic structures of male and female reproductive organs. Vocabulary. What are the words that we will encounter during this lesson? One of the most important words to know is organ, which refers to a group of tissues working together. Now, this group of tissues can be self-contained, they can be inside the body of the organism, or they can be outside the body of the organism. Examples include the lungs, your heart and your eyes. The next word is the human reproductive system. It is the system in the human body that reproduces and bears live offspring. In other words, it's responsible for making babies. Let us now turn over to page 18. You should be able to describe the differences between the reproductive organs of a male and a female from given diagrams. So here on page 18, we have two diagrams, one on the left and one on the right of a male and female. The human reproductive system is so similar and yet it is very different from each other. But there are a lot of complements to these bodies. Now, if you want to state a difference between the reproductive organs of a male and female from a given diagram, then we have to look at the organs that these body systems in-house. And for most of the male reproductive system, you will find that it is located outside of the man's body. And these external structures are the penis, the scrotum, and the testis. Most of the female's reproductive system is located inside the woman's body. The vulva is the only external organ, and it houses yes, other organs, but it will be the only one visible from outside. Now, the male reproductive system also produces, maintains, transports, and nourish sperm cells, and also adds a protective fluid that is going to protect this sperm cell. And this protective fluid, we refer to it as the semen. Now, once the semen has been deposited, excuse me, once the semen has been deposited into the female's reproductive system, the female has another responsibility, which is to develop the fertilized egg into a baby. Let us now turn to page 19, where we will look at the female reproductive organs. Remember here that we are expected to describe the role of the basic structures of a male and female reproductive system. 
Let us turn to the chalkboard so we can discuss this in detail. Now on the chalkboard with me, I have the female reproductive organ. And we are now just going to label it and afterwards, that is when we will look at the role of these structures. The first one that we have on my left here is the ovary. Now, the ovary is a structure that is both on the left side and also on the right side, that is the ovary. Then from the ovary, we have another structure, which is right here. It is actually a tube that is coming from the ovaries and it goes all the way to another structure. This structure is known as the fallopian tube. And there are also two sets on this. Another name for the fallopian tube is the oviduct. Another name for the fallopian tube is the oviduct. Do not worry if you cannot see the words very well, you can just turn to your book on page 19 and you will be able to see the structures there. Okay, the next structure we are going to label is right here and this structure we refer to it as the uterus. We refer to it as the uterus and from the uterus we have a structure responsible for closing and opening known as the cervix and from the cervix we have the vagina. Let us turn back to page 19 and look at our clear diagram. Now on the diagram, you can see the labeled structures of the female reproductive organs. You are expected to be able to identify these structures and label these structures. The role of the basic structures of female reproductive organs. Let us discuss what is it that they do. Let us now look at the role of the basic structures of the female reproductive organs. Right at the bottom of page 19, you will have a table that shows us the organ name as well as its role or use. The cervix is responsible for connecting the vagina to the uterus. And the uterus develops a fertilized egg into a baby. While the fallopian tubes or oviduct connects the ovaries to the uterus. And the ovaries produce egg cells and hormones. Let us now turn over to page 20, where on page 20, we will now look in detail at the male reproductive organs. Now, if we turn to the chalkboard, we will find that the male reproductive organ can actually look a little bit complicated when it comes to labeling it or following its structure. You have to have a starting point and an ending point. And for this structure, our starting point will be at the scrotum. Now, the scrotum is part of the external organs that hangs outside the man's body. But inside the scrotum, we have a structure known as the testis. We have the structure known as the testis. And from the testis, we have another structure which is coming from the testis going outwards. And this organ is referred to as the vas deferens. And the vas deferens goes on and connects to another structure 
and this structure is referred to as the seminal vessel. And from the seminal vessel, there's another structure where it goes into called the prostate gland. From the prostate gland, there's another tube, and this tube is known as the urethra, and the urethra is inhoused by another structure referred to as the penis. The penis also hangs outside the man's body. Let us now go back to page 20 and look at our diagram there, how it is labeled. Remember I said we start all the way from the bottom, which is at the scrotum, and inside the scrotum we have the testes, and from the testes there is a tube connecting there called the vast difference, and from the vast difference we have a structure referred to as the seminal vessel. And from the seminal vessel, we go into a structure known as the prostate gland. And from the prostate gl gland, we have the urethra, which is inhoused by the penis. Please do not get confused with the urinary bladder. It is not part of the reproductive system. Let us go down to page 20. And on page 20 at the bottom, we have the role of the male reproductive organs. And this table shows on the left side the organ name and on the right side the function or the use of these organs. To begin with, the scrotum. The scrotum is responsible for temperature control and protects the testes. The testes are responsible to produce sperm cells and hormones. And in order for them to do this, they require an optimal temperature that is provided by the scrotum. And once they have been produced, then the sperm cells and hormones must travel through the vast difference to the seminal vessel and the seminal vessel will then produce seminal fluids and nourishment of the sperm cell. So the sperm cell will need nourishment to keep it alive and healthy. And then from there, we have the prostate gland, which is responsible for producing fluids and nourishment, which will further aid the movement of the sperm cells. And all of these contents will exit the male's body through the urethra out of the male's body. Let us now turn to page 21. On page 21, we have your activity one, and here are your instructions to completing this activity. The first thing you need to do is study the diagrams that are provided for you. And once you have studied them in reference to today's lesson, only then can you complete this activity one. And at number one, you should describe any two differences between the male and female reproductive organs. So you look at the diagrams and then you describe any two differences between the male and female reproductive organs. And at number two, you explain the role of the male and female reproductive organs below. A is the ovaries, B, uterus, C, oviduct, D, testis, and E, the prostate gland. Good luck with your studies, everyone. Please remember to sanitize after doing something like I'm currently doing right now. I am sanitizing. And from me and my friend is goodbye. Hi everyone, I'm 
Joshi and make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye.